that I've been wanting to talk about for a while now, and that is... Broken Twill Denim. Now, what we have here is the Blue Flame Broken Twill from Benzac. We have it in the B01 Slim Fit. We have it in the B03 Regular Tapered Fit. And we have it in a jacket. Now, I'm excited to dive into these pieces for a couple of reasons. So, first one is that we have this B03 fit, this regular taper, which is just my fit in the Benzac lineup. Yeah, the B01 is, is an amazing slim fit for sure. I covered that in the last video, not the last video. I covered that in the video that I did on the Eco Denim. There's gonna be a link up to that in the corners. So yeah, the B01 is an amazing slim fit and it actually, it worked for me a lot better than I was expecting it to, but just the B03, I, I just love it. And last but not least, there is this jacket. And this jacket, yeah, this, it somehow, it heralds Benzac finding their thing. And I'm gonna explain what I mean about that a little bit later on. Now we're gonna get into the fits and the specifics and all the details of both the jeans and the jacket in a little while, don't worry about that. But first I want to talk to you guys about Broken Twill. Like I said, I've been wanting to talk about this for a while now, but I just really haven't had the opportunity. Broken Twill is, it's not all that common. I mean, I'm sure you guys have heard me a number of times mentioning right hand twill. And then a couple of times you're also gonna have heard me mention left hand twill. Twill is simply a, a kind of textile weave. The kind of textile weave that results in a diagonal pattern going across the fabric. Let's make sure that I get this right. It's made by passing the weft thread over one or more of the warp threads then under two or more of the warp threads and so on with a step or offset between the rows to create the characteristic diagonal pattern. Thank you very much, Wikipedia. Now, depending on which of the weft, no, the warp threads, of which of the warp threads are lifted and in what order, that's gonna determine if it's a left-hand twill or a right-hand twill. So if you look down at your jeans, if the diagonal pattern runs off to the right, it's a right-hand twill. If it runs off to the left, it's a left-hand twill. Traditionally, Levi's is known for the right-hand twill denim and Lee is known for left-hand twill denim. And I think nowadays the, the vast majority of denims are gonna be right-hand twill. The problems with this start to happen when the fabric shrinks down. As the, as the cotton fibers, they come into contact with water and as they dry out, they, they tighten up, they, they, they twist and they're gonna they're going to tighten up and twist in the direction of the fabric weave. This is known as leg twist for, for a very good reason. The whole leg of the pant of the jeans, it will twist round. I mean, like the old Levi's are the, the biggest examples of this, the biggest culprits, where you actually find that selvage edge twisting in such an extreme way that the, it, it twists round to the front of the jeans. Left hand twill denim, it's not immune to this but it's not quite as extreme. The, the tension in the fabric that's created from the, that twist and from the weave, it's offset by the, the tension that's in the yarn from the direction that it's been spun. So yeah, it's just, it's not quite as, as pronounced. Leg twist these days is seen as something, something authentic. It's something that denim heads go nuts for. But I guess back in the day, it was seen as a, as a flaw. Broken twill was a, was a way to fix this. It reverses the direction of the fabric weave with every single pass. So you can see here, you get this distinct zigzag pattern. So yeah, if the fabric is unsamphrized, it's going to shrink up like any fabric would, but it's going to shrink up evenly. It was the last of the big three. So the big three are Levi's, Lee and Wrangler. So it was Wrangler that are most commonly associated with broken twill denim. And just how right hand twill and left hand twill, they fade a little bit differently from one another. Broken twill is no different. It fades with its own distinct characteristics. And so, yeah, the three pieces we have here, they're made from broken twill denim. 
blue flame broken to a denim. But where does that blue flame bit come from? Well, Kuroki Mills over in Japan, that's the mill that, that's producing this denim, it uses some indigo alchemy, some secret sauce technique where the indigo dye doesn't penetrate evenly over the length of the yarn. Combine that with the broken twill weaving, you get this very distinctive blue flame look to the denim. It's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, really, it's stunning. The, the pictures, the images that I can take here, really, they don't do it justice. You have to see this in person. And I think that the, the potential for fading here with that broken twill weaving, with this, with this indigo alchemy that's coming from Kuroki, it's, it's going to make some, some incredible, very distinctive, very special fades. I mean, I've never seen anything like this, so I'm just completely guessing here. But I can imagine that as the, as the denim beds in, as the fades start, that, that blue flame pattern is, is, going to, is going to become less pronounced but more distinctive, which makes absolutely no sense at all. I think that that blue flame pattern, that will become more subtle. But the, the depth of variation within the indigo tones, that's going to become more defined. Okay, details time. And we are going to start with the jeans. Now, the details, the specifics of both these jeans are exactly the same, or mostly exactly the same, as you would find on the eco denim that I covered a couple of weeks ago. I put a link up to that in the corners, but I'll put another one, I guess. Yeah, so we're not going to really linger on that, but we're going to go through them pretty quickly. Which one are we going to do? We're going to do the B03. That's broken now. Right, the denim. Um, we talked a lot about the denim before, but I should have mentioned that it is samphorized, but it is unwashed. That means that when you do come round to washing it, it's not going to shrink down very much. Of course, it has the BDD signature, the Hidden Six Pocket, with a red line selvage ID just here. There are very well set, solid copper rivets. The buttons are stainless steel and nice and shiny at the moment, but I know they're going to bed down very nicely. We have the size tag with the waist 32 just on the inside of the button fly. We have tucked belt loops with indigo stitched bar tacks and also the buttonholes, all of the buttonholes, they're also with this indigo tonal thread. Over here we've got a, is that, I think that's a Levi's style coin pocket. Pocket bags, nice, thick, solid, durable. BDD woven label on the inside behind the leather patch. That's the difference. That's, that's one distinct difference between this and the eco denim. There's a leather patch. We're going to have a look at that in a moment. I'm going to stick to the front for now. Okay, I think I fucked that up. No, I did fuck that up. I said it was Kuroki Mills that were weaving this denim. It's not. It's Karabo Mills, still Japanese. But anyway, we've got a Karabo Mills woven label over here on the, le on the left hand side. Yeah, I, I really like this, this level of transparency where we, we see uh, where the denim comes from directly on the jeans. It's just, it's a very nice way that the industry is moving in. When we're here at the front and we've got our flies down, let's have a quick look at the construction. That loose little thread just comes from the pocket flasher there, so it's nothing to do with the construction. On the inside, completely clean, really nicely done. Yeah, no complaints, no surprises there at all. It's gorgeous. Then, right, over to the back. I mentioned the pocket flasher a second ago, but I really, really like this pocket flasher. I just love the graphic design, the graphic language that they've got going on here. I don't love all the loose threads too much though. That's getting annoying. Oh, it's getting worse. Anyway, I like this and I actually might frame this because I like it so much. According to Len, the Japanese characters say blue flame, which pretty much makes sense. And in fact, I'm just immediately going to get rid of this pocket flasher because as much as I like it, the little threads that are coming off it are driving me nuts and that's just not good for my OCD. Okay, there we go, much better. 
Over in the back, you see the one distinct difference, like the one major difference between this pair of jeans and the eco denim, and that is that there's a natural veg tanned leather patch, and the eco denim it was a paper patch, and yeah, I I love natural veg tanned leather. I think it's a great choice for the back pocket patch because it's going to patina, it's going to fade down as the denim fades down, and yeah, so I think it's it's Italian leather. It's nice, full grain, it's thick, it's solid, and I'm definitely sure that's going to age down beautifully. Another major difference, actually, having said that the leather patch is the only major difference, is the, the, the stitching colour. It's a tonal stitching colour, meaning there's no, no contrast thread throughout, so it's like indigo on indigo. And that is rolled out over the bar tacks. It is rolled out over the bullhorn embroidered logo here. Yeah, it's, it's throughout the entire pair of jeans. The pockets, the back pockets, they are a good size. They're unlined, which I like. And yeah, you can really see that distinctive zigzag pattern going on here. Down to the bottom of the jeans, we have a very well done, very solid chain stitched hem. We have yeah, this, this red selvage ID here and yeah, everything is looking standard, looking solid, looking great. And the jeans, they have been sewn together in Portugal. Okay, but to the fits. Right, there is, yeah, there's this B01 slim fit that we saw in the eco denim video. And then the Blue Flame is also available in this B03, the, 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 I guess it's a regular tapered fit. Out of the two of these, like, before I tried the B01 in the Eco Denim, I was absolutely sure the B03 was going to be my go-to. But I would be very curious to see how the B0, how the B01, how it would fade in, but... Yeah, to be honest, I think I would go for the B03 because this is slightly heavier denim. It comes in at 13 ounces. 13 ounces? Yeah, 13 ounces. Yeah, so it would break down like this. I would take the B01 fit in the lighter weight eco denim. That's what, 11? 11.5 ounces. And then I would take the B03 in the slightly heavier 13 ounce denim. I think, I think that would work out to be a very good idea. This B03, it's just... It's got quite a lot of room in the top block. It's got like a little bit of a longer rise and then it's got more room through the thighs with with just like a tiny, very subtle drop to the crotch. And then from the knees down, it, it tapers in. So it maintains that, that comfort, that movement, but it also maintains that sharp silhouette that I really, that I really appreciate from a pair of tapered jeans. Right, so I know the I know the jeans fits and the jeans details pretty well by now, and I've covered them enough that you guys should know them pretty well by now as well. But this jacket, minus the phone, this jacket is something completely new for me. So I'm quite curious to to pour over the details with you guys. I mean, it does take some solid cues from some classics in the world of denim. I mean, especially with these two hand warmer pockets here, that's straight from the, the, the Wrangler 124MJ, which actually is really quite fitting given that this is a broken twill denim. But the welted chest pocket here, I don't know where that comes from. I mean, I guess with this, with this curve here, this, it's, a, it's a Benzac piece. Levi's have got their, their distinct spade pockets. And then, spade? No, shovel. Levi's have got their distinct shovel pockets. And then Lee have their, got their distinct spade shaped pockets. Benzac have got their distinct curve to their pockets. And that's, that's like the Benzac thing that makes this a Benzac piece. Which is an interesting development when a brand hits that, that particular stride. So yeah, I, I like that. I like that, that that's a, a mark of Benzac now, right? I associate it so strongly that I think that this is a mark of Benzac. And as for the rest, I mean, it reminds me a little bit of a Harrington, but it also reminds me quite a lot of the, the Detroit jacket from Carhartt. 
it's it's an interesting one. I, I, I like it. I really do. But what about the other details? So, okay, sticking down at the bottom, like I said, we have the two hand warmer pockets here. On the hand warmer pocket on the left hand side, there is the embroidered bullhorn logo. There is a zipper running up the front from Talon, nice and solid. And then if we look to the inside, there is this red line salvage ID from the blue flame denim. And then a really nice, very luxurious flannel, cotton flannel lining on the inside. That's, that's really lovely actually. The construction the inside is totally sharp, totally clean, very nice. Got the care label down here. Um, up at the top here, we have that BDD woven label with sizes. We've got the Carabo label at the inside. Not Kuroki, Carabo. God, I'm such an idiot. Um, yeah, and then we've got like a little like hanging loop here as well. Hmm. What else can we say about the front? Is that? Okay, that's... That's a subtle detail that I didn't notice unless I was looking straight down at it or I should be wearing it. But there is here up on the shoulders at the front, there is a subtle curve to this that really reminds me of the, the bullhorn arcs that are on the Japanese made, Japanese made jeans. Are they on the shirts too? Mm. I'll have to have a look later. Uh, is that on the back as well? Yeah, and that is echoed on the back too. Okay, that is cool. That's, that's a nice nod to, to, to the branding. Okay, sticking to the back. Uh, not much to say about the back. It's a, the, the back of a jacket. It's, it doesn't have any waist adjusters. It's got that subtle like curve to the yoke up at the top. Uh, mm, uh, mm. Down at the bottom are the cuffs. Let's see, are the sleeves fully lined? Yeah, the sleeves are fully lined with this flannel. That's gonna be really comfy to wear. Especially during like the, the spring time, the, the spring months. It's, it's gonna be nice just to wear this over the top of a t-shirt. When you're breaking in a denim jacket, it can be a little bit uncomfortable, especially if you're just wearing it over a t-shirt and the, when it gets a little bit hot and sweaty, the denim can be pretty rough. So yeah, this is just probably a mark of my age that I'm so happy that that's there. Got again, these stainless steel buttons with the BDD branding on the back of it and the front too. They are very shiny and they're very, very bling against this dark denim. But yeah, I know that they're gonna weather down quite fast. Yeah, same as the jeans, all the, the stitching, the chain stitching, no, not the chain stitching, the bar tack, sorry. Is there any chain stitching? Yeah, all the bar tacks, the embroidered logo, the, the thread, it's all like tonal stitching. There's no contrast stitching that I can see. Nope, not at all. And yeah, and just like the jeans, this jacket's been made in Portugal by a factory that clearly really, really knows what they're doing. And yeah, so that's the, that's the blue flame offering from Benzac. We've got this amazing broken twill denim that is just made a little bit more amazing by that blue flame dyeing technique that Carabo are using. So we've got the jacket and we've got the, the two fits of the jeans. Now, I cannot say this enough. Benzac just really, really excel at doing amazing fits. The jacket, the silhouette is not something, the silhouette and the detailing is not something I'd immediately associate with denim as the fabric. I'd more associate this, it's probably because I'm thinking this is quite like the Carhartt Destroyed. I'd more associate this with like a, with like a brown duck canvas. And I, I think that the first iteration of this jacket style was done in a brown duck canvas. But a little bit like the, the chinos that I covered with the, with the video on the linen denim, it, it really, it works in, in this denim fabric, which, which I'm happy to see and I'm a little bit surprised about as well. I think it's just a very, very solid, very good piece. And one really important thing to me is that the jeans and the jacket, they're in exactly the same denim, so 
I really can go full on smurfed out with these PCs, which I'm quite excited about. And this denim, I mean, yeah, I've been doing this for so long now that it's, it's not often that I see something new. It's not often that I get to experience something new. And this broken twill with a blue flame, yeah, this is something new for me. I've not seen this before and that's, that's exciting. And it's also been really exciting to be able to dive into, into the whole broken twill thing with you guys as well, because that's been something that I've been meaning to cover for, for quite a while. Both of the jeans and the jacket, they have dropped already. You can head over to the Benzai website. I've left a link to that down below in the description. You can head over to the Benzite website, you can check those out. You can, you can really dive into the details there and you can see some really amazing photographs of this denim as well. Um, while you're on your way down to that description, like let me know in the comments below what you're thinking of this denim. Is it something that you're into? Um, have you guys had much experience with Broken Twill? Have you had any experience with Broken Twill? Do you know some brands that are actually doing some Broken Twill? I'd, I'd be very interested, I'd be very curious to know that. And yeah, you, you guys know I'm gonna say this, when you're on your way down to the description, you're passing the like and the subscribe button. Guys, if you're into denim, if you're into raw denim, if you're into quality menswear, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification icon, that way you're gonna get notified whenever I drop another video. And that like button, it just, it lets YouTube know that we're there. It lets them know that you're liking what we're doing and it really does help the channel out. So I really appreciate it if you just drop me one of these. And that just leaves me to say, guys, as always, I hope everyone is happy and healthy out there. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. Hope you're taking care of each other. And I'm gonna see you in the next video.